In this orthographic projections of a cone, a cone of base diameter 40 mm and axis length 60 mm has a point of its base circle in the VP and 40 mm above HP. Its axis is inclined at 45 degree to the VP and parallel to HP. Draw its projections. Now we know that when a solid has its axis inclined to one plane and parallel to the other, its projections are drawn in two stages. Here, the axis of this cone, this axis is inclined at 45 degree to the VP and parallel to VP. So, we have to draw projection of this cone in two stages. In initial stage, we keep this axis perpendicular to the VP and then draw its projection. Axis of this cone is kept perpendicular to VP. Now, we will draw its front view which will appear as circle and top view which will appear as a triangle. For that, you have to draw xy line first. After drawing this xy line at a distance of 40 mm, draw another line of length 40 mm which will represent the diameter of the base of the cone. In this line, mark middle point and from middle point as center, draw a circle which is the base of the cone. Now divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Mark all these points. Mark middle point also. Now this line O dash 1 dash O dash 2 dash etc are representing generators of the cone. Now to draw top view of this cone, project these end generators or end points of these end generators 1 dash and 7 dash. Similarly project O dash and from this point, from this point draw axis of the cone which is 60 mm length, 60 mm long. Now mark this point as O, O. Now join 1 to O and 7 to O. Now to draw other generators, project all the points. Project all these points 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 2 and 12 both are appearing at same place. 3 and 11 and so on. So I am, when you look from top, only visible points are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 12, 11, 10, 9 and 8. These are invisible points. Join these points with O. These are the generators. Now in next stage you have to make this axis inclined at 45 degree to the VP. Now you can see that this axis is perpendicular to this base and therefore instead of drawing axis inclined at 45 degree to the XY line, I will I am going to draw this base this baseline 1 to 7 inclined at 90 minus 45. So here both are 45 so you will get again 45. So I will draw a line 1 7 which is inclined at 45 degree. Now this line is this baseline is inclined at 90 minus required angle that is 45. So 90 minus 45 is 45 degree. So I have drawn this line which is 7 to 1. This point is 7 and this point is 1. And from the middle point of this line, I have drawn a line which is perpendicular, this axis, uh, which is the axis of the cone and length of this axis is 60 mm. Now mark all the points from 7 to 6, measure this distance 7 to 6, same distance 7 to 6 mark here. Similarly from 7 to 5, measure this distance, mark same point 5 here, 4 already you have marked. From 1 to 3 and 1 to 2, 1 to 3 and 1 to 2, take same distances which are given here. And after that you mark all these points and join these points with O. So these are all inside generators and these are these two are end generators. Now to get its front view, you have to draw vertical projectors from all these points. So from 1, I have drawn one vertical projector, this one and corresponding point O dash here. So here from here draw horizontal projector. Intersection of these two will be O dash. Similarly, you can obtain other points from one. This is one horizontal projector, vertical projector, intersection point one dash. Similarly, other points from two. Here you can see that two and 12. These two are coinciding at same place. So here two points are there, two and 12. So I have drawn a line from two and 12. So from two, draw horizontal line, intersection point this. Similarly, from 12 also, draw horizontal line, you, are, you will be getting this 12 dash and so on. In this way, 3 dash and 11 dash, 4 dash and 10 dash 
and all other points you can obtain in similar manner once you get all these points from all these points you have to draw smooth curve now when you look from this side actually you are looking from this side and drawing front view here when you look from this side this base is invisible know that all outer lines are visible lines so these all points are outer points of this uh, uh, this figure therefore you have to draw this as solid line and all other points are invisible so i have drawn using dash line now shape of this figure will be an elliptical shape once you get this ellipse uh, from o dash draw a line which is tangent to the ellipse you are not supposed to join o dash with 4 dash this is not correct you have to draw a line which is tangent to this ellipse so from o dash draw a line which is tangent to ellipse so this will be your one side and this will be your another side in this way uh, this is completed now in this you can draw you can draw axis of the cone in this way you will get front view and top view of a cone whose one point uh, one point of the base circle that is 7 you can see this 7 point is on uh, vp this 7 point is on vp that's why it is on xy line this point and axis is inclined at 45 degree to the vp and parallel to the xy this is parallel to hp this axis is parallel to hp and inclined at 45 degree to the vp thank you